month's episode of Parsons Potpourri. Yes, welcome back. So this is our April episode, Mark, and we know what April means. It means change. That's right. Spring is in the air. Spring is in the air. The pollen is everywhere. Is your car covered in green stuff like mine is? Constantly. All the time. Yes. It also means, I guess for me at school, testing's coming up, getting the kids ready and yeah. the teachers ready for all that. That's right. And what is the one surefire way that we know it's springtime in Decatur County? The world's largest raccoon hunt right here in Decatur County. That's right. And we're going to take you there in this episode. What else have we got going on in this episode? Well, I'm very excited to inform you that we have Houston and Davis back with us. And guess what they're going to do? What? They're going to dance for us for real this time. <laughs> Those who are going to dance? Yes. What kind of dance are they doing? Ballet. Yes, they are ballet dancing, got their tots, their tutus, their point shoes. They're ready to go to entertain you today. I think I want to see this. Well, just stick around, and you definitely will. And to close out the show tonight, we'll have another original song from our friend, Miss Emily Keaton. But before we go to the raccoon hunt, Toby went yesterday for a special report, and he has this to say. Take it away, Toby. You know my girl, now, yeah. you know my girl just called me up, and she woke me from my sleep, <laughs> you I heard the thing she said, you know she heard my feelings deep, I'm gonna buy me a dog. <laughs> hey y'all. This is Toby Taylor here. We're at the bench competition. I thought, I thought they would be lifting weights. Oh, no. Hey, this, we got a fellow right here, sir. What's your name? Gary McCaslin. Gary McCaslin. Gary, tell me what's going on here. Well, they're judging these dogs on their gait and their confirmation. So they're religious? No. Some people take it as a religion, but no, it's uh, it's the way they're built and the way they move. So contented, but I can teach you. To so now, why why is this judge getting so familiar with these dogs? Because you gotta check them out and make sure they meet the standards that's established by each breed. Yeah. So he's making sure that they feel right as far as much muscle structure and such as that. Do, do they have to tip him after if it's a good massage? Well, you know. So you've been doing this for a while? Yeah, since I was a kid. Since you were a kid, do you have a dog entering the competition today? No, not this weekend. No. Well, well, why not? Where's your dogs? Uh, I got a couple for sale up at the barn. Oh, you're selling your dogs? I'm selling some of my dogs. Are you, are you married? Yes. You're not going to sell your wife, are you? No, she don't come to these no more. <laughs> I want you to love me like my dog. How long you been? How long you been coming to the coon hunt? Since I was a little kid. It's a good cause, and they should. If you got money, you should donate it and help out the hospital. Absolutely, uh, Mr. McCaslin. That's your name. Yes. Sir. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for being a part of Parsons Potpourri. All right, Toby. Like Thank my you. Dog does, baby. <laughs> they put the rabbit on on that the rope, and the rope goes out, and let, then they turn the dog loose, and let the dog chases. So it's a repelling rabbit. A repelling. It's a zip line. It's a, it's a dog zip line. It's a dog zip line. Oh, there's a wet dog. This is Toby T. Taylor here, live from the Coon Hunt at the Cato County Fairgrounds. I've got a young lady next to me. Excuse me, ma'am. What's your name? Hey, my name is Felicia Bailey. This is a Trim Walker Coon Hound, and his name is Red Chief 007. Reggie 007. Red Chief. Red Chief. I got it. He likes to get coons. <laughs> now, how did he do in the in the benching competition? What did he bench? Like 300, 350? Um, pretty close. Oh, we love this event. We we'll oh, come back every year. Great. Is he gonna swim? Uh, no, he's gonna watch and learn. 
You know how this works? No. Okay, so they gotta stay in between the barriers down here. Uh huh. Okay. They gotta stay, they can't go out on the bank like that one did. They just close that. Yeah. And they swim all the way across. And that line right there, there's two sets of uh, winners. You win line and tree. Uh huh. So when you get to the line, win that part of it, the drag race. Uh huh. And the first one is stand up in the bar. not killing them, you're just looking at them. So you couldn't even find one to look at? No. <laughs> Do you normally kill them? Mm, no, no, not really. Find them, look at them, yep. taunt them? Do you taunt them? Uh, Make fun of them? No. Call them names? We just say, there it is. <laughs> for 40 years at St. Jude's. For 40 years? We've been coming here 40 years, except for last year. Yeah? Look at that, what does it say? Kaufman Red Bones, St. Jude's. Oh, I love it. I do too, it. but the girl that painted this has been gone for 25 years. Oh, well, you, you, good on you for taking good care of that house. I told my husband, I said, when I die and I can't go to St. Jude's, you take this down and auction it off for me. There you go. Give it to the children. It's such a good call. It is. That's why we're here. All right, this is Tom Taylor here, the Decatur County World's largest raccoon hunt. And uh, I'm here with a, please introduce yourself for me. Wyatt Hope, Waynesburg, Tennessee, 38485, Mount Hope Road. <laughs> you are? Jason Wade, Parsons, Tennessee. <laughs> what you were just coming? I don't know. <laughs> I'm told that these two right here are the authorities on raccoon hunting. Is that correct? You got that right. First of all, what did that poor little raccoon never do to you? Well, I, it's, I've got to eat. I mean, are you eating the raccoon? Yes, sir. That's some of the best meat you ever eat. Just what? like eating roast beef. What, how do you cook it? Uh, you take, put that in that old wood stove, and you get that down to about 350, and you put it in one of them old pans. You put you a lot of potatoes, sweet potatoes too, behind it. Not regular potatoes. No, right? sir, it got to be sweet potatoes. You can put that around there and you can put that in there for two hours and 37 minutes. What's your dog's name? Uh, let me think. I got a Streaker, and I got a Lillian, and I got a Lucy, and I got a Dolly. Dolly? Yes. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> she got big teeth. I can't put that on TV. Okay. Uh, well, come here, Bobby. Sit down here, man. This is another one of my old buddies. Me and him used to coon hunt all of our time. He got where he ain't able to do nothing go fishing now. <laughs> What's your name, son? Bobby Parnell. Bobby Parnell? Yeah. Now, uh, you're a coon hunter as well? No, I'm a rabbit hunter. Rabbit hunter. He used to coon hunt with us. He used to coon hunt all the time. But you gave it up? Gave it up. You hung up your, what do you hang up when you quit raccoon hunting? Hung up the dogs and all. <laughs> the dog. This raccoon hunt is a no-kill hunt. Yes, sir. So what do you do to the raccoon then? You just well, point it? We look up our head and wave goodbye when we see it. <laughs> well, now what else do y'all hunt besides raccoons? That's all I ever hunt. That's all you ever yeah. hunt? There's other animals out there with meat. Nah, no. <laughs> nah, it ain't no better than them raccoons. 
The only thing come close to a raccoon is a big fat possum. You gotta put it under a wash tub for two weeks and feed it good dry shell corn before you eat it all. And that's the only thing you said that ain't a lie. <laughs> the best friend that I ever had was Y'all grew up hard, didn't we you? Still are y'all from up Perry hard. County? We are. I'm from Wayne County, can you say? <laughs> ain't no difference. Yeah. <laughs> well, how long y'all been coming out here to Coon Hunt? I missed one year in 46 years. Is that right? Yes, sir. And that's the, that's the year my son was born. My wife was pregnant, and they thought it was going to be born on this day. And you couldn't make it? I couldn't come. <laughs> I tried to find somebody to stay with her, but they wouldn't stay with her, so I had to stay. But I told my son that I was going to whoop his butt when he got bigger enough to know he knocked me out of coming over here. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, what else can y'all tell me about the Decatur County Coon Hunt? It's for the one of the best calls that's ever been made. It is. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. If you ain't ever been, come. I guarantee you'll have a good time. Over. How you doing, partner? Good. How are you? Good. What's your name? Brantley. Brantley? How many How many years have you been to the Coon Hunt? Um, I'm, I've never been here before. This is your first time? Yeah. What do you think? Um, it's really good. I like it. Did you watch the dog? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Was that fun? Yeah. Do you have a dog? Uh, yeah. I go coon hunting with my brother. Um, oh, you're a coon time. hunter? Yeah. Oh, really? Do you kill them or just look at them? Um, um, in coon hunting season, we do kill them, yeah. You do kill them? Yeah. Do you eat them? No. We don't eat them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you put their tails on a hat? Have you ever done that? Oh, um, we have some, um, in my room, um, but I've never done that before. Yeah. How old are you, Brantley? Nine. Nine? Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. I'm Toby T. Tyler, and you'll be on Parsons Hope Parade. How about that? Oh, that'll be great. But he was more than that. Everything a kid could want I had in Cracker Jack. Uh, back to you from uh, Coon Hunt and uh, Cater Camp. Oh my gosh, Mark, that sounded like so much fun. Let's go. I uh, know. Let's go. See you there. This is the dawning of the age of flower power. The age of flower power. Flower power. Flower power. Parsons Florida. Hey everybody, today we are at Decatur County's world's largest coon hunt and we are so excited to be out and about to show you all about Decatur County today. That's right, and I'm sure if you live here in Decatur County, you have been to the hunt at least once in your life. How about yeah. you, Emily? Do you come here? Yes, uh, and really in recent years, I've not, you know, school, uh, college, uh, graduate school, stuff like that, I've not been able to come, but I used to come when I was a little girl with my granddaddy, we'd come in and I would sing up here, so I've been involved for sure. Oh yes. How about you? Well, the, the, the community center out where I live, we come up here on Saturday morning every year and we do the breakfast shift in the concession stand from five to nine. And we've been doing that for at least 20 years. So yes, oh, I've yeah. come over here every year. Yeah. Yeah. So why don't we go inside now and see what's going on here today at the Decatur County World's Largest Raccoon Hunt. Yeah, come on. I'm the raccoon. How do you do? I would like to play a game with you. It is a game the raccoons play all through the night. Okay, so, right hey, what's your name? Allie. Allie what? Stokes. Allie Stokes. Where'd you go to school, Allie? Decatur County Middle School. What grade are you in? Eighth grade. Hey, I teach eighth grade. You do? Yeah, she's oh, wow. not one of mine, but I know her anyway. So, Allie, we heard that you have a dessert over here that you make. Can you show us what it is? Yeah, it's a, it's a chocolate cake with chocolate ice. Oh, that's my favorite. Did so, you make it from scratch? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you're making it. That's what counts. How much? Are, how much are all your desserts? One dollar, everything. Where do where all the proceeds go? Do you know? St. Jude. Yeah, they go to St. Jude. <laughs> well, great job. Well, thanks for letting us talk to you again. <laughs> and thanks for helping out here at the Yes, thank you. What are you doing over there, old woman? <laughs> Is it good? Is it good? 
Ja, 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 Miss Buxton, where do all these desserts come from? They are donated by the people in the county. And how many years have you been doing this? How many years have been going on? <laughs> 46. That's, that's a long time, but thank you. Thank you. Well, I do a lot of the marketing for the hunt, and then my sister and I have always had the t shirt booth uh, throughout all of these years. We do not know a lot about coon hunting ourselves personally, but we have been brought up in the hunt um, due to family and just the cause. St. Jude has always been near and dear to my heart, um, and when you go there as a child and you see exactly what happens it just changes you and so uh, when I was little I won the little hostess pageant and was able to go and from that point forward I knew I wanted to be involved in some way we had a patient that is current Abby Hope's been discharged but um, just to remind everybody that's the face of it can I'll cry but it'll it, it can hit home really quick so you want to get her down here real quick Tennessee sign made out of wood. <laughs> oh, no, it's cutting board. We'll get it right. Yeah, well. Yeah. Are you all the way from Tell people who you are. Who are you? Abby Hope, Taylor. One of them, especially those that made the trip. We really Six. appreciate everybody oh, that come out and participate. All so right, all the cool cutting board. Somebody tell me, he a bit of five down ten. Not really. Can Kristen help you out? Do you, do you remember do you remember whenever we when you went to that hospital all the time, and they had to we got all those pokies? Yeah. What? Tell them what you did. Was it fun? Did you, what did they do? Did you have a pizza party each time? There you go. Where does all the money that's from here? Does it go to that place to help all right. the kids? Is there another? Before we to where? All the Thank you. To say to say you. Good job. Right. Oh, good job. Right. Thank you for talking yeah. to us. That's awesome. Where do you guys go? Where do you 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 go? Where do um, the Decatur County World's Largest Raccoon Hunt is actually the longest standing fundraiser that St. Jude has. So when you walk in those doors and you tell them you're from Decatur County, they take note because they know. Yes, yes. yes we may not be the biggest donor, but we are the one that has stuck with them yes, throughout all of the years. Um, yes, yes. And so we love working with them um, and just with this, what our county and just the other hunting associations from Alabama to Georgia to Indiana, we, we make friends with them because they are loyal to us and they come each and every year so it's something very that we should be proud of for sure well yeah. thank you for sharing Abby. you're welcome you're welcome so welcome it, your life can change in an instant and uh that day it just I, I will never forget walking in that hospital and seeing my niece laying in that bed and thinking now it's home you know and so but we are blessed and she's healthy and we, right. we thank St. Jude for it yeah. they actually even pay your mileage to and from the hospital and so the fact that we are an hour and a half to two hours from some place like that is a blessing yeah. so. <laughs> Hello! 
Hey. What's your name? Jaylee Garrett. And why are you wearing a crown and a sash? What's the deal with that? Uh, I want a pageant. You want a pageant? That's a good job, all the queen, right? Right? Okay. So, what was the pageant for? Being like the hostess here. That's really cool. So, what did you have to do? You just like walk around the stage and stuff. Okay. okay. So, all of the pageant. What is, what is that for? Like to support St. Jude and stuff. Okay, supporting St. Jude. Well, that's awesome. Anything else you want to tell us? <laughs> no. Where do you go to school? DCMS. What grade are you in? Seven. Seven. You might have me next year. Yeah, I recognize you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for talking to us. Congratulations. Yeah, wear that crown proudly. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? My name is Felicia Bailey. And where are you from? I'm from Monroe County, Mississippi. Oh, cool. Oh. And your dog, do I understand, won in the bench contest yesterday. Is that correct? Yes. And the dog's name? Uh, the female that won yesterday was Crybaby. And she also won the overall bench show for today for the St. Jude's Benefit. Oh, cool, awesome. cool, cool. Do you get like a medal that you can wear? Oh, yes. We won a plaque and we also won money. but And we donated the money back to the benefit. Oh, cool. Thank I you. Thank That's you. awesome. <laughs> now, and now, who do we have with us today? This is Red. He's a puppy that we raised. Okay. And he also won a grand champion in his champion class in the male oh, tree and walker class oh cool so you've got two winners yes you this weekend that's well, awesome that's well worth your trip, and his daddy won too oh, <laughs> how far yes. away is monroe uh, we're County? like uh, uh about three hours so okay. how many years have you been coming to the coon hunt here four years four years yes well, that's awesome <laughs> well keep coming back yes. we will and awesome yes thank y'all very much so glad thank that you. you're here thank yeah. you yeah thank you <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> This is a uh, what 41, 42 event. I'm probably and I'm 54, so I've been here probably for about 38 of them. Oh, that's so, awesome. that's so this awesome. is not my first one. Have you hunted in the current? Yes, I've uh, got a couple titles under my belt. I won it in 1988. I won it in 2012, and. Of course, my dad won it one year, so we've got three or four titles. So you don't get like a belt to wear around like in wrestling? You know, you, no, they, you know, they did give away a, a rotating trophy every year until it got filled up, and I don't even know where that trophy, but I remember I kept it for a year, uh, t two different times, and your name's engraved in it, but I don't know, with all the moving and shifting, we don't know where the trophy's at anymore. Oh, that's Yeah, nice. yeah. That, that was kind of fun. What's your favorite tradition about the campaign? Well, it's just, I guess, the older I'm getting, I think the uh, just the family atmosphere of it. You see people now, you see the kids born here, now you're beginning to see grandkids born and getting into the rotation. I'm very enthused this year about the younger people that have come up. I've seen 
younger women and men yesterday, last night at 2 o'clock in the morning, out here sweeping mm -hmm. oh, floors. Wonderful. And that's been a huge boost for morale, I think. Skipping last year because of the pandemic, then coming back and seeing that kind of activity yeah. in the crowd, that's, that's my favorite part of this year. Well, it's just, this crowd is wonderful. It is. I, mean, I think it it's a huge, else. huge crowd. For sure. Yeah. Awesome. So have well, you ever guys ever been coon hunting? I see your... Is that right? <laughs> I have never been hunting, like, period, in my life. Oh, really? But I do like to hear stories about it. So. Okay. I did go coon hunting with my father when, when I was younger and when he was able to go hunting. Right. But, That's cool. You know, it's been a long good, time good. since I've done that. Though. Well, a tidbit of history, the reason I wanted Joy in the background, when I was 16 years old, I won the first ever PKC Joy mm -hmm. Youth World mm -hmm. Championship. Yes, Joy sponsored it. Wow. Russ and Judy Kozier sponsored it that first initial year, and I was fortunate enough to win it. $6,500 in scholarships that I won through Joy Dog Food. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that was in last century, yes. But, but that's the reason I'm glad that Joy Dog Food has gotten on board with us, yeah. and I hope it's a long-lasting relationship. Yeah. Well, awesome. if somebody wanted to help the cause of the Coon Hunt, help in St. Jude, they couldn't come here, mm -hmm. what well, might be some other ways they could donate or whatever? Well, of course, I think they got Partners in Hope where they send it directly to. I think that's the cause of, of their foundation or something like that, that they can send it in. Of course, you know, there's events everywhere. One I donate to every year, and I've never won it, is that I love and love going to see the house. I didn't do it last year. I don't even know if they did it. But where they auction off, uh, they sell chances on the house. They'll build one in, in Memphis. Uh, look it up online. It is neat. There's different states they do it. I think it's $100 a chance. It's a good donation. And you get a chance to win in a house. It, and the house is nice. So that's that's something I do. I didn't do it last year, so I don't even know, didn't even keep up with it. But normally I'll do that every yeah. year. Okay. Thank good. you so much. We appreciate it. Appreciate y'all doing this. <laughs> I'm a raccoon, how do you do? I would like to play a game with you. It is a game the raccoons play. All through the night and all through the day. It's really easy, all you have to do. is hide and then jump out and shout, peek-a-boo. Hiding up a tree and I go peekaboo. Peek I'm hiding in a bush. So now we're being joined by Melinda Way. Now, Melinda, what is your role here at the Coon Hunt? Well, I'm just a volunteer. Um, and as many people are volunteers, um, it takes everybody to, to, to put on this particular event. So, how long have you been a volunteer for the hunt? Um, I've been a volunteer for about 10 years. Cool. Um, our group from Westwood, AHC Westwood, we come over and uh, we volunteer in the kitchen, um, as many organizations do. Uh, there's uh, from churches to just communities, uh, they come in and they help in the kitchen, they help in the chicken and fish booth. Um, it takes a lot of people to make this, this happen. Okay. Now, as well as being a volunteer, don't you have some personal experience with what happens after the hunt? Uh, absolutely. We, um, uh, there's, there's several people that are here that um, have experienced going to St. Jude. Um, I myself had one of my children have to go. Um, it was not an, an event that um, we had to continue services there, but uh, we did have to take her uh, to have some blood checked and um, it just changes your outlook once you go. Uh, when you grace those doors with one of your children, um, it just really makes a difference. Um, as you know, in the opening ceremonies, uh, Ms. Shelley Taylor talked about her daughter and the treatments that they had to go through there. Um, it, it just brings it to a different light whenever you have a child that walks through those doors and you're not sure what's gonna happen. So. Um, and there's many people here that can give you those personal experiences, and um, that's what it's all about. 
making sure that money is raised for those children um, because you don't pay for anything there. You don't pay for, they offered us meals and mileage and even room if we needed it. So there's some, like I said, there it, it just changes things once you go through those doors. It's a, it's a great event for our community and I, I'm very proud to be a part of it. Yes, I think we all are. Yeah, for sure. So thank you very much for talking to us today, You're welcome. Melinda. Sorry very to pull welcome. you out of the kitchen. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> She's working here. She's doing her job. Keep That's up okay. the good work. Thank you. And thank you for everybody who volunteers to come. Thanks. Thank you. I'm gonna pop some cans, only when I 2.7 kilograms. I'm, I'm, I'm digging, looking for some garbage. This is awesome. Now, walk through the house like, what up? I'm Klaus Mamilia. More specifically, I'm from here, Order here, Carnivora. Well, you got my good <laughs> side. Every single day, <laughs> be like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> So, now what is your name? Dwight Poe. And now, I understand that you are part of the board of directors here at the Cater County World's Largest Raccoon Hunt. Yes, sir. Sure am. Okay. And so, how long have you been involved with the hunt? Involved in the hunt ever since 40, uh, I've been here 45 years. I missed one year out of the whole 46 years. Oh, really? And that's because my son was born that year and couldn't find nobody to take care of my wife till I come over here. So <laughs> She couldn't hold it any longer? No, she couldn't <laughs> hold it at all. <laughs> yeah, but she needed to. <laughs> okay, so what is your role here on the board of directors with the hunt? Uh, we've won county makes the decision what goes on and take place. Say six of us, no, seven of us are on the board. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, and when did the coon hunting start? We've been working for all ever since last year, starting <laughs> on it. It, it takes you don't do this overnight, it takes year to year basis. Okay, and this year is coon hunt number 46. 46. 46 years, a little over 5,000 something dollars up there. 5,000? 5, no, 5 million. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Every dime we take in goes to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Nobody keeps nothing. That's great. Yeah, and with any donation we appreciate. <laughs> I'm wondering what you think about Mark's hat. Poor little coon, well I got to say. <laughs> Was Bob Tail. Yeah. Fallen, yeah. Fallen today. Oh, little girl. Yeah. <laughs> you might get around. Try to get around here. Sure I, I don't think I can run that fast yeah. today. Where are you from? Right here, Decatur. Right here, Decatur. Decatur. How long have you lived here? Uh, all my life. All almost. you life? Which part of the creek did you grow up on? <laughs> on the north side. The north side? Yeah. Water run downhill or uphill over here? Downhill. I've, I've been over here the last few years and this rained every time this run uphill and downhill around here. Because we get so much rain. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I understand. Well, would y'all like to go hunting one night while we're over here? Emily's just talking about that today. <laughs> would you? She would love we to would, go. We're more than happy love to Maybe take y'all. And we even let y'all bring the chicken, D. <laughs> and she can wear what she's wearing today? I don't care what she wears. <laughs> Might make no good. I'm being personally attacked by you right now. Yeah. But, yeah, she looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, she looks nice. That's a good compliment for me. Well, thank you. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Twelve years ago, my son got married over here. At the hunt? Like yeah, here? at the right corner. Oh, wow. We got it. And they took pictures of him coming through uh, last night with his three kids hanging off the buggy there. So that's what happens in 12 years over here at the corner. Yeah. Come here, Ed. Come here, son. Come here. Is that your That's my grandson. Come here. Now, is this the oldest or the other? Hey, this is the middle one. Middle one. Yeah. Okay. No, you can't hold it. <laughs> Tell them, say, wait, everybody, name? say hi. 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 What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Yes, sir. 
Thank you for talking to us. Yes, sir. Anytime. I I'll look forward to seeing y'all next year. You will. Well, you better not lie to me. You don't ever lie to me. I won't ever stay if on he, camera. If he with. keeps me around, I guess I'll be. All right. Sign her up for another year and give her a raise. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Raise. I, I like the sound of a raise. Your salary. All right. oh, okay. Yeah. But you'll need it time you buy them hunting boots, hunting life. You know, hunting I, doors, I, I do, bridges. I do have things, like I've never been hunting, but I feel like I have enough around the house I could find. Well, if you don't, so we'll I, fix you up. I mean, I grew up on a farm, so I've got my boots and stuff. You got a good so. farm? Oh. Huh? You got a farm? I don't have a farm, my dad does. Okay, well, yeah. let me talk to her just a minute. <laughs> What kind of cows do you grow down there in this he, part of the country? Well, it depends. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> he goes from steers, he then he gets uh, mama cows and baby cows. Charlays or no, black angels? So, or? No, it's they're all different. Just kinds. mixed up yeah. kind. Okay. Just goes well, to tractor supply and gets a straight run of cows. There you go. <laughs> Tractor's flying by your face? No, it's usually co op. Well, Wayne Farmers Co op over in Waynesburg. Henderson. Henderson County. Well, Henderson, well, Henderson County, Decatur County. Well, my son in law runs a co op there in Waynesburg. If you come on over, we might give you a little bit of deal on hey, the fertilizer stuff. Hey, I'll talk yeah. to my daddy about that. He's always yeah. open for new partnerships. <laughs> <laughs> this is Action News from Perry County at all. Decatur County, Tennessee, live here on the spot. <laughs> Enjoy Thank it, you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> well, we've had a lot of fun here at the Decatur County World Forges Raccoon Hunt, I'm and I guess we're going back to the day. studio now, right, Mark? That's right, right after this commercial break. I'm, I'm, I'm digging, looking for some garbage. This is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Building supply. Oh, Mark, wasn't that a lot of fun? Yes, it was, and we met some real characters there at the raccoon hunt. Yeah, we sure did, but, you know, I think most importantly, it's good to recognize and think about the people that volunteer their time and their resources to put this thing on every single year. And we learned that it's been going on for about 42 years, is 46. what they said. 40, oh, I got that mixed up. 46 years, yes. and over $5 million has been donated from just this little coon hunt to St. Jude, so what What a wonderful thing that um, our little county is able to do for all the kids at St. Jude. That's right, it's such a great benefit mm -hmm. for the coon hunt, yes. <laughs> Look, we spent so much time at the coon hunt today, we've just run out of time. Houston and Davis can't do their ballet today. <laughs> <laughs> but don't be sad, because they'll be back next month to do their ballet for us then. Listen, we're about to go to a commercial, but once we come back, Emily is going to perform another original song for us. So, Emily, tell us about the song that you're going to sing today. Okay. So, this song I'm going to sing is called That Night. Okay. And I wrote it when I was 22. And it's all about sneaking out and just having fun, you know, when you do that I, you know, I really don't know how I've never snuck out. It's just based on like things my friends have told me and like <laughs> movies I've watched. But anyway, so I just need to put that out there. So anyway, it's what it's all about. It's just fun. And springtime is all about getting out and having fun. And I think you'll like it. I enjoy singing it. So I'm sure we're all going to enjoy it. If you watch this, Mom, I've I've, I'm scared of you. I've never snuck out. <laughs> <laughs> I respect you. So there's that. <laughs> So on that note, don't go away. After this commercial, Emily's going to sing. And now to close out tonight's show, here is my co-host and your friend, Emily Keegan. Driving too fast in your little blue Ford. 
scared you to death. I put the pedal to the floor. But we were on my road and on my terms that night. I rolled the windows down. I let the music take me. I was singing too loud. You thought I was crazy. But you pulled me close when we danced in those my nimbus saw was kicking up dust We would run and breathe that night Rebel boy and a good-hearted girl You couldn't have heard us more wrong or more right Mama tried to warn me, Daddy said I'd be sorry I'd have to say they were right Had I not snuck out that night Wore my pearls and that blue dress You've always told me you like those best Kicked off my heels when you took my hand And said, let's run In the middle of a hay field, I found a hurricane. Your laughter was the wind, and your voice was the rain. I knew it was the moon, but it burned like a midnight sun. When those lightning bugs saw us kicking up dust, we would run and breathe that night. Rebel boy, yeah. A good-hearted girl, you couldn't have heard us more wrong or more right. Mama tried to warn me, Daddy said I'd be sorry. I'd have to say they were right, had I not snuck out that Like oil and water, babe, we just didn't mix But there was nothing wrong, there was nothing to fix Except that window pane you broke when you helped me sneak back in Mama was so mad, we didn't speak for days I told no one else it was better off that way but if I had the chance, you know I'd do it all again, again. When those lightning bugs saw us kicking up dust, we would run and free that night. Rebel boy and a good-hearted girl, you couldn't have heard us more wrong or more right. Mama tried to warn me, Daddy said I'd be sorry And I'd have to say they were right Had I not snuck out that night That night